Welcome, folks, to this episode of The Beer Show. I am your host, Eric Bouchard, and today I am drinking the Ephemera from Inibo. This uh, brewery is pretty renowned worldwide. It is a Quebec brewery. Uh, more specifically, it is located in Chambly, and today I am drinking their Ephemera, and it is the cranberry version. So every year they come out with a certain type of flavor for that beer. Sometimes it's apple, sometimes it's cherry, cranberries, cassis, peaches, I think I saw, I'm not sure. Uh, so this year the version is cranberry. It is apparently excellent and this is what I'm going to be drinking today. Um, so it is a beer on lease. It is a... 5.5% uh, alcohol by volume beer and uh, depending on where you look for the information Yumi Brew puts it in the category of a white beer brewed with fruit however other people just consider it as a fruit beer but we will go with the actual official uh, category for this beer so a white beer uh, it is brewed with a um, a type of champagne way of brewing a product so meaning that they put the product in the bottom they had a little bit of sugar some yeast and then they let it ferment more and more and more and uh, today I have this beer in a uh, 750 milliliter uh, big bottle which is all super nice because you actually have a uh, a nice cork in there you have a muslet uh, and uh, later on I'll show you a cool thing that you can do uh, once you open it with the cork and the muslet and um, and yeah without further ado well let's start drinking so I have this nice little barrial uh, glass that I'm gonna be drinking it in today don't really care much about barrial but this is a really nice uh, glass uh, it is thin it is perfect for those types of beer uh, the, 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 the shape sorry and uh, yeah let's go so as you see today I did not actually open the bottle first and which I normally do uh, to get a taste of it however I wanted to open it uh, with you guys here because uh, this is the type of beer that is super nice to celebrate big occasions uh, muslet as I was telling you guys and uh, so big occasion you want to share it with people and you know what there is the best occasion coming up it is my birthday in a couple of uh, days well in two days actually and uh, I want to drink it this beer with you guys so uh, yeah let's go oh, that noise it's like a fucking champagne so nice little mmm Wow, right away. It's really strange, guys. I've never been a big fan of uh, fruit beer in the past, but recently, this summer, I've been craving apricot beers. Uh, and I saw this one, it was four bucks at Peluso. I was like, whatever, I'm gonna buy it. There was the cherry that was the apple one, and there was cranberry that was offered. So I asked which one do you think is the best? They told me it was the cranberry version, which is the one I'm gonna be drinking with you guys today. So nice little pop, as you can see when I opened it. So nice, so festive, you know? So without further ado, let's go for that pour. Oh wow, oh, no, 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 now that is so, Sweet. Put this on the side. So, super big head. Love it. I'm gonna put the Boreal sign forward so that you can actually see the beer. So, as you can see, uh, it's a beer on lease, so it will be cloudy, uh, but you really don't see the color which you usually see in fruit beers. So I, I was expecting that beer to be sort of uh, reddish a little bit, but not a lot. It's completely, uh, I would say, blonde, uh, pale, medium, yellow flavor with that rich head. But it's kind of a, it's not small bubbles. It's a big, big, foamy head. You can definitely smell though the types of aroma which you get in a white beer. So, 
rich in yeast, sort of a yogurt uh, smell in there. Really acidic. I don't necessarily get that cranberry smell in there. I sort of actually get a citrusy uh, smell. I do get also a, like a sort of champagne uh, smell in there. It's quite nice and uh, sweetness, I can get that. I can get sort of a fruity smell, but I couldn't necessarily identify cranberry in there. So this is quite nice. Uh, mm, mm, good. good stuff. So I'm just gonna, nah, it won't work. There's too much of the depot anyway. Uh, sorry, not of the depot. There's too much of the beer left so that I would, you know what I like to do. I like to shake my depot into the bottle. However, one of the good things is I had put the bottle in the fridge sitting down on the side. So the depot kind of traveled from the bottom to the side which eventually led to me pouring it so this is why it's quite quite uh, cloudy uh, you can see the head is already sort of gone hmm. honestly you only get the sort of bitterness and tartiness and of the cranberry I couldn't point it out if I was blindfolded and I was drinking that this is Nestor Cranberry. However, it's darn good. Super terse uh, quenching, sorry. Um, quite light. Uh, this, by the way, it's a 9.5 IBU, so, uh, so not too bitter, but sort of like a it's the fruit, it's the cranberries. You know when you, you especially if you heat uh, raw cranberries, it's like, it makes your lip pucker. You kind of get that feeling in there. Um, sort of citrusy at the same time. There's a nice little aftertaste, fruitiness, a little bit of sweetness in there. All right guys, so I wanted to show you what you can actually do with the cork and the muslet. It's nothing big, it's nothing fancy, it's not life changing. But sometimes, you know, it just makes people, you know, talk a little bit. And it's simply fun, you know, you gotta enjoy that bottle. And sometimes, let's say you're talking with your friend and at the same time, you start playing with the bottle, you do this and they go, oh my gosh, oh, that's nice. So it's a nice way to recycle this for the the time that you are actually um, enjoying the beer. All right, so take the muslet, make sure that you uh, you spread it out a little bit, put it over the bottle like this, and you make sure that you yank it. All right, after that, you take the screw, you put it facing down into the bottle, and then you just make sure that those two are uh, sort of going this way and finally you make a little rotation trying to make sure I'm not breaking anything there you go and you are uh, sort of uh, remembering where that, that that bottle had a nice little cap on a nice little quirk in it and uh, it's like revisit, re revisiting um, the, 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 the cap of the, of the bottle. So nothing fancy, it's just a nice way, you know, to maybe pass a little, I mean, as you can see, it wasn't that hard either. It's quite a good product, but like I said, I couldn't necessarily say, oh yeah, cranberries in there. Super coarse, uh, coarse. I'm tr having trouble today. Oh, it's it was a sucky day from the moment I got up. Like, um, I did so many mistakes today, but whatever. There are some days like this. After this whole bottle, I'll be all good now. I won't be worried about anything else. Mm. So yeah, super coarse, terse quenching. There you go. Nice little sweetness. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, 7.5 out of 10 for that product. It is quite good. Uh, I don't really can't, besides the fact that it doesn't necessarily taste cranberries, uh, I can't really find uh, big mistakes in that beer. It's well balanced, it is super. Uh, you can drink this during a hot summer day. It is excellent. And it doesn't necessarily only taste like um, like a cheap fruit beer or say that is super concentrated. It's really, really good. Uh, Uni Brew, super renowned worldwide. So it's always nice to get a, a hand on their product. Uh, so please, uh, like always, make sure to subscribe uh, if you want to comment and have more information or you simply want to wish me happy birthday you can comment in the videos below uh, also you can share the videos you can like them and thank you for watching guys have a nice weekend bye